It's the first week after the international break. Welcome to our betting preview. We have six games and three likely goal scorers to take you through um, in the next few minutes. We are chilling at living in Oniru, Lagos. I am Okun and I have Deji with me. Let's start off with our first game, uh, which is the tie in Italy between Juventus and Sassuolo. Juventus have a super record against Sassuolo. Yeah, have quite a good record against Sassuolo. They've won their last four games against Sassuolo, uh, scoring seven goals in those games. Uh, now, it tells you that we may not see a goals rush, uh, but then we think that Juventus is always strong enough, especially at home, uh, to you know do the job and get the three points. And uh, we just think Juve will uh, continue where they left off before the international break. Yeah, last time this side met, it was in March 2016, Juventus won down by goal to nothing. I mean, well, our Friday night fixture is the fixture between Bayern Munich away at Schalke 04. And we think Bayern will not just win this fixture, but we'll see over 2.5 goals in this time. Yeah, they had six goals in the opening game of the season against Werder Bremen. Uh, this looks like another side, you know, that they love to score goals against. Remember, uh, there was, you know, what, how many goals last season against Schalke 04? Uh, they, they, they are a side that tend to score goals by Munich. The feel in the club is different, of course. There are so many players who now enjoy their football better, uh, you know, coming out to express themselves. And I think that, that's what Bayern Munich will do once again against Schalke 04. Uh, they'll get the goals, they'll get the win as well. Uh, uh, not forgetting Okun, Carlo Ancelotti has quite a good record against Schalke. 6-1 yeah. victory uh, when they faced in the Champions League while he was coach of Real Madrid. So we think there'll be goals in this one. And then our third fixture is the tie. In France, between champions, PSG will be hoping to bounce back from a uh, loss against Monaco as the first St Etienne. They have a super, super yeah. great record. Outstanding, if you may, um, against St Etienne. They've won all of their last nine games against St Etienne. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're looking for a side uh, from the PSG perspective, of course, to bounce back with, uh, after that loss against Monaco, it has to be Senna Tier. Uh, a side they tend to get the job done against when they play at the Pacto Prince. Uh, so we think PSG will do it again. Uh, you know, they, they really need this result to defend their title. They need uh, the confidence, uh, if I may say, to get back on track after that defeat against Monaco. And PSG will just about get the job done. There's been 38 fixtures between these two sides in Ligue 1. Uh, PSG have actually won 21. There's been seven losses for PSG. And of course, 10 of those games have ended in, in a draw. Yeah. Uh, but in the Old Firm Derby, in Scotland, the SPL, uh, we think we're going to have over 1.5 1, 1. goals. Now, what's the reason? Because there are very many goal scorers, likely goal scorers in this particular fixture. Kenny Miller, uh, yeah. Harry Forrester mm -hmm. for Rangers, both players already with two goals and two assists each this season. And of course, there's the big man uh, for Celtic, Lee Griffiths, already seven goals this season, not forgetting Scott Sinclair. Uh, now, for Celtic, you know, they've been emphatic, not just at home in the SPL, but also uh, in Europe so far this season. They are a side that, you know, they've shown that tendency to score goals, loads of goals as well. It's a derby, so we're not sticking to either side. We're just saying at least two goals. I think it'll be good. Yeah, we had to go for one game in La Liga. We could have actually gone for the Real Madrid Sassuna game where we played it safe by uh, saying Barcelona uh, will not just win their fixture against Cidia Alaves, but they'll score over 1.5 goals. They've scored at least five goals in their last three games at home. Uh, Barcelona. They are very emphatic when they play at the Camp Nou, uh, you know, with players like Luis Suarez, of course. Neymar is back in the side as well. Uh, so we think, you know, Barca will get the job done once again. The only time they've lost against Alaves in La Liga was far back in 2000. Uh, so we, we think a win and 1.5 uh, looks like a match that may produce, in fact, um, you know, loads of goals. Maybe another five goal. Uh, there's been 10 fixtures between these two sides in La Liga. Barcelona have won nine of those fixtures, mm. losing the only fixture in 2000 mm. against Cia Alaves. Final fixture is the fixture in England uh, between Chelsea and Swansea. Chelsea usually dominant against Swansea City and we think we're going to have over 1.5 goals in this tie. Swansea have considered 21 goals against Chelsea. That's the Premier League side they've considered the most goals against. Uh, so, you know, maybe Nemesis, if you may. Swansea City's Nemesis. Chelsea will come out flying once again. They have a perfect record. While the Manchester clubs are playing each other, Chelsea will be looking to capitalise against Swansea. But, Ocon, we are not going for a Chelsea win. We just think there will be goals in this one. Chelsea have so many players in form who could get us the goals. Uh, let's look at our three goal scorers. And talking about that Chelsea fixture, mm -hmm. we think Diego Costa will grab a goal because his record against Swansea is outstanding. Yes, scored five goals against Swansea. It's also his favourite side uh, to score against in the Premier League. And uh, he has a good run of form. He has scored or assisted in his last five games in the Premier League. He scored during the international break as well. So Diego Costa is on fire at the moment. Uh, we think he'll bag another against Swansea. Against Cid Alaves, it's going to be 100 competitive games uh, for Luis Suarez. He's got 88 goals for Barcelona. And we think it's he crazy. will score against Alaves. Yeah, we, th we think he wants to mark uh, that 100th game. 
uh, with another goal yeah. will be you know quite a good occasion for him. He has a great record running uh, for Barca, and you know we talked about Barca being a side that scores so many goals at home. Mm. Uh, Luis Suarez is the man who's really led that in the last couple of games. We think he would get another against Alaves this weekend. He's not just La Liga top scorer, uh, Luis Suarez, but he's had 43 assists since joining Barcelona back in 2014. Our final goal scorer is going to be Robert Lewandowski. That's because he's got a hat trick on the opening of the season, and not just that. The last time these two teams met um, in uh, April of 2016, he scored a brace and he's been outstanding so far um, this season. Don't forget, guys, uh, to actually uh, subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel, that's Tregong TV, and like our Facebook page, uh, Busy Bodies NG. Till we come your way next week, have a super splendid and a really great weekend.